right. We're going to look at another knot tonight called the fusion knot or the crash knot. A little controversy around that one on when it was invented and who invented it, but nonetheless, we're just going to take a look at the knot. Fusion name came from fusing the uh, double loop figure eight and the bowling together, the double white bowling. So when we start this off, we're going to start a little bit bigger so we can kind of see what we're doing here is you're just going to do a regular figure eight knot, uh, figure eight on a bite. Looks simple enough. We're going to flip that around to where the bite is on the opposite side of this turn. And we're going to flick that bite right over that. And this portion is what we're going to grab. Tension up. So we can use this in a lot of different ways, just like we would uh, potentially a, a double bite figure eight. When they were doing testing on this knot, they realized that it was equivalent with the double bite figure eight if we're wanting to make it a lot larger and use it for multi-point anchors. Or it's also seen used uh, when we make those bites bigger as the bottom part of a rescue harness. Uh, the good part about this for us is if we load this in onto our load, onto ourselves, and we weight that really heavy, uh, once again, very easy to break down by breaking that bite down and then it just comes right apart. So while this is still tied, we're gonna just kind of take a look at what that is from the back side and we can kind of see how that loops over. And this is our double bite bowling. So we're missing just an extra turn in the eight versus the double bite bowling.